Good morning everybody. Um, as promised this is going to be the Daniel Agiano video um, and just to show that I wasn't lying these are the notes that I have actually right now. So let's hope this video doesn't drag on and just get silly. Okay first thing I want to say is just apologize for I don't know why I like to try and imitate people, it's stupid, but when I was imitating when I met him and saying that uh, he said he wanted a video about himself and watching it back it just looks like I said that very um, very aggressively, like he wasn't aggressive saying it, he was like jokey okay, he wasn't like I want a whole video about me, so that was wrong, so I'm sorry about that. And also for saying he's American, obviously he's not. I meant to emphasise the next bit that he sounds American, he just sounds American. If he's listed as English, then that's obviously what he wants to be known as, so he's English. Okay, right, moving on. The first thing about Daniel Agiano in Hot Eyes um, that I would say I notice is he's at the back far too much, okay? Yes, I appreciate the fact that, you know, we do get certain skaters more up front, but um, that doesn't change the fact that I like all the cast and I like seeing them all, and so... I don't like it when somebody is at the back too much, and he definitely is. But last night's show, in which I was focusing on him, apart from the odd little foray onto Dennis's skates, because, you know, I can't help myself, but um, he did brilliantly. There was no falls, uh, stumbles, dodgy bits, trips, anything that I saw. Um, if I'm going to be really honest, I'd say his maybe weakest performances with the stick maybe doesn't look quite as confident as the others with it that's just my opinion but the strongest I would say is as when he's as the black swan he's really the black swan and he's got the intense eyes same as Garrett so that's good um, his standout moment so if you're gonna be like well who is Daniel Giano in the cast like when am I gonna see him like obviously um, there's a scene that comes up towards the end of that one where a couple of uh, ladies do nice solos Alex Ann Kubel and Katie Orsha and um, there's three male skaters in white that you'll see go across the stage so he's the second one, so you've got Garrett Kling first um, then you've got Daniel Leggiano second you'll see and then you'll see Daniel Berdnikov um, and he really shines in this bit because there is a bit where they come out um, more towards the front of the arena and skate in front of block 5 and um, he's actually in the middle for that um, so that's really nice um, yeah where they're in the white costumes with the silver crisscross trousers yeah that one um, and uh, he looks um, really good in that bit he does really awesome in the funky black and gold routine like he does really well in that but uh, considering he's got a really cool personality that's not surprising um, so that comes out um, I didn't actually realise he was like He's quite a serious skater, I would say. You know, um, obviously there's bits that are choreographed um, to be more sort of light-hearted or serious, um, and that shows in the skaters' faces, but still I reckon you do see some skaters who are more serious than others, and I think in most of the show he does look quite serious and quite focused. Um, that is not a bad thing. And the last thing is, uh, what, the chairs bit, or I call it the chairs bit, but apparently it's the tango, so we'll just refer to 